Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm gonna make an omelet. Today I'm gonna show you make an omelet. I'm gonna put some turkey in my omelet, some Kobe Jack cheese, some baby Swiss cheese. I got the peppers here, and I got the onions. So I gotta chop it up in a few, and then I got Eggland Best. Now for your nutrition diet, you got vitamin D, E, B12, B2, B5. Very good. Look, check that out. Okay. Cut that up. Cut some onions up. I don't need too much onions because I did it before and I don't like the way it tastes. You know, put this in here. Garlic will be. One egg. Two eggs. Three eggs. I'm going to do four eggs. Omelet. Make sure there's no thing in there. Let's check. That right, it's clear. Okay, that's good, that's good. Let's look at the nutrition fact. So you got 60 calories, six grams of protein, zero fiber, zero carbs, cholesterol, 170 milligrams. Um, what else we got here? Sodium, 65 milligrams, 3%. And then you got all these vitamins down here. Vitamin D, 30%. Vitamin E, 35%. Vitamin B12, 40%. Iodine, 40%. Uh, biotin, riboflacin, calcium, zinc, potassium, and selenium, and if many more. I'm pretty sure I got more um, nutrients on the stove. Got the stove on, let it heat up. You know, I gotta let it heat up so it could dry, then I can add the butter or oil to the pan. All right, so I don't have no butter, so I'm gonna just use this oil, this, uh, this oil right here. You know, just take about a cap more or less let's see oh shit fuck it just pour it straight in there fuck the cat forget the cat just pour that's a you know generous amount considerable amount let's put that away now we're gonna move the butter around like that to make sure we get some you know every corner the walls everything grease up so that way the omelet the egg don't stick Okay, you know, I'm here back with the eggs, you know, maybe I should add some peppers and some uh, extra things. Give me a second. Okay, I got some few ingredients that I'm gonna add. Got cilantro, throw a couple of this in there. You know, I'm watching a lot of Hell Kitchen today. We got the, what is this? Rosemary, put some of that in there. Okay, you know, you got the basil, put some of that. All right. Got a little cinnamon. Let's put a little tiny bit of ground cinnamon. You know. And that's it. And we, you know, spin it up. And now it's time to put it in. Okay, the cinnamon. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Look at that. Professional. Professional. You get the corners, you gotta get the corners like that. You know. Let that bubble a little, let it give it some time. Okay, we got it done here on this side. Let's see my flipping. I'm about to flip it in a few. Let's see if I got the skills. Let's see if I got, oh damn, I just, I just cut. Let me see if I can flip it. Oh shit, I flipped it good, it's good. You know, I need a little more practice. Put it like that. It smells a little like French toast a little because of the cinnamon. But it's good. About the time to add the cheese and all the extra. So now I got the cheese ready. We got two slices of Swiss cheese. Just, you know, just cut it in half, put it like that. Two slices. And then we got two slices of Kobe Jack cheese. Very delicious cheddar cheese. You know. A lot of cheese and then I got some turkey 
not too much turkey, a few, a few slices of turkey. And then I put the peppers on top. Um, yeah, the green peppers and the onions on top. Voila. Now it's time to fold it. You know, let's see if I could do this right. Fold it like that. Okay. And let it sit there for a little. So it can melt the cheese. The cheese got to be melted. So this might take a little time. So now, I, you know, I fold it so the cheese got to give it some time for the cheese to melt. Put the flames up just a little higher. You know. Okay, it's been like five minutes. So now I'm going to put pressure. I've been putting pressure already, but I'm going to put a little more pressure. Squeeze it. You know, so it can have the cheese to force it to melt better. You know. Mmm. High protein. So again, what I have in here is onions, green peppers, turkey slices, two slices of Swiss cheese, and two slices of Kobe Jack cheddar cheese. Very delicious, high protein. Okay, now I'm going to overlap it one more time. Voila. I did the overlap, and now it's time to put in my plate. And then do a test, uh, taste test review. Sorry for the camera. Sorry. Uh. Okay, got it in the bowl. Now we're gonna do a taste. Susie. Hey, Susie. Hey. This is my cat Abel here. He's a, a male cat. Susie, say hello. And Patches. Patches. I gave them the egg. I want to see if they eat it. I should get them. Maybe they get some real food. They don't really like. They don't really want it right now. They probably full up. So right now I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna cut it down the middle. Real quick. See how it tastes. Okay. Let me get a little piece of this corner. With all the cheese. Look at that. Look at the cheese stretch. The meat. Let me get a piece of turkey with it. Nice piece of turkey. Mmm. Very good. You know what? These cats, they like cheese more. The eggs. Some of them are picky. But I know they like cheese a lot. Let me get them some cheese. Oh, they're going to fight. No, nah, no, nah, no fighting. There's enough food for both of y'all. No fighting. See, they like the cheese. The eggs, they're not really feeling the eggs that much. Let me give them some more cheese. Matter of fact, I'm going to give them some cheese with a little bit of turkey for each one. They like ice cream too. They eat ice cream. Look. Ooh. So what just happened? She ate that shit, man, quick. No fighting, no fighting, no fighting. See, the eggs, they don't like it that much. So now I'm gonna get a little more, one more piece for them. Turkey and cheese. Okay, here, one for you and one for you. Be nice, share.